All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about some of the differences that we offer here at ElectroArc for our disintegration heads. First and foremost, we're going to start with our Arcer head. It's our general purpose disintegration head. It is intended for number six taps up to an inch and a quarter tap. Its max capacity is limited by the power supply that is available to it, and it typically runs off of a 3, a 10, and a 15 kVA power supply. The nice thing about these is they can fit right into the drill chuck of your bridge ports, or they come compatible with a mini mag here, which allows you to adjust the angle and really get into some of those tight, weird spaces. It is also compatible with some of our smaller machines here, like this 3S disintegrator. This 3S right here is a 10 kVA machine, and as you can see, it's fairly compact. It can sit right on a table or a workbench, and it's really good for mobility in a smaller shop. Moving on to the next size up, we have our IQ head, and like the Arker head, it's an AC disintegration head. It is considered a heavy duty and high precision disintegrator. Uh, it's still compatible with the 3, the 10, and the 15 kVA, but with a 20 kVA power supply, it can burn up to two inch volts. It is not compatible with the drill chuck, but it does come with the housing here, which has a tighter tolerance on the bushings to ensure accuracy and precision throughout the full length. It has a gravity feed option as well as an auto feed box for a little bit of remote control on that one. And then lastly, we have our DC option, which is our servo head. And this is not compatible with drill chucks or AC machines. This is for DC power supplies only. It is the only machine that has an internal motor for auto feed purposes. It doesn't get an external box like this one over here. The quill has approximately 12 inches of travel and it is compatible with our bolt eater machines for some real heavy duty bolts, burning up to two, three, and four inch bolts and taps. Now the good thing about the DC machine, and unlike the other two, the DC machine is capable of burning out carbide bits, whereas the AC machines are not. So if you have DC machines, you can burn out broken carbide bits and things of that nature. 